Hello my friends. I was asked to show my steam box that I'm using uh, to bend uh, hoops and uh, the wooden bows. But before I do that, I want to say that I used a lot of different types of steam boxes and some were pretty elaborate. And what I found is the simplest is the best. I had built a box that was uh, uh, about one foot uh, by one foot and six foot long. It was out of plywood and I insulated it. It was so heavy that it, and bulky that it took two people to move it around and manipulate it. And what I found out because of its size, uh, unless you have a permanent location for it, you'll find you're not wanting to use it. And then I also made some with PVC pipe and that's not a good idea because you uh, melt them, they deform, they bend. Um, you might get one or two uses and then it's a waste. So the simplest way was uh, the best way. So let me show you what I'm using right now. This is my uh, steam box and it's seven foot long and uh, if you look here this is insulation it's pieces of scrap and for the container I'm using two pieces of galvanized ductwork or metal pipe and uh, one piece was a five inch or five foot long section the other was a two foot section and the steam generator is an old uh, wallpaper steam box and it functions fine for what I'm using. Um, it has a plastic hose about an inch diameter. It terminates with a metal fitting that I screwed into the plastic. Or, I'm sorry, it screws into the pipe, into the sheet metal. And I purchased an end cap. And uh, what I found when I needed uh, the other end, uh, one end needs to be removed. Uh, so what I found was the coffee can fits perfect. I was going to make a, a turning uh, for this end out of wood so it wouldn't get hot, but that can fit so well I thought it was made for it. And then I don't want the wood sitting on the bottom, so I just slammed this together real quick. This holds my work pieces up about a third of the way off the bottom so that steam can get all the way around what I have set in there. And this uh, insulation you can see here, this was pieces left over that I had up in my attic. And just so that uh, it contains the steam or the heat into the uh, cylinder and uh, you won't get burned from touching it. And then you can see the probe here. Uh, what that is, is a uh, temperature probe for cooking deep frying turkeys, which I never did that, but this works wonderful. Um, there's enough gap in here that steam can escape uh, to allow it to be a uh, open. It won't have back pressure. So it'll allow the steam to keep coming up into the into the steam box and uh, allow the heat to build up. And of course when I'm working with this, this will get up to the operating or steam temperature of 212 within maybe 10 minutes after I plug it in. And because of that, uh, I was going to have a handle for the heat, but when I'm handling the wood, I'm using a pair of leather gloves anyway, so the handle is not necessary. It comes off fairly easy. It's a perfect fit. I couldn't have made one better. So the cost, oh, then uh, there will be moisture dripping when you're running the steam box and I leave this back end open 
with a, a container underneath to catch any of the water that's dripping. Also, to allow it to flow, I have this just setting on my wood rack and it's attached to the back of one of the shelves and this front end where the door is this is elevated about oh I would say two inches taller than the back so it all leans to the back side and it drips out here into the box and it's small enough that I can remove it it's also out of the way uh, it's um, against the wall right where I'm storing wood and the length I chose a seven foot because a lot of my staves that I put in here are six foot plus I think my bow staves uh, rough are six foot three inches so this will handle the bows and it will handle lacrosse sticks and the drum hoops that I'm bending uh, hope this helps uh, real quick it took me uh, oh I would say 20 minutes to put it all together and works better than the elaborate ones that I had built in the past thanks for watching my friends bye bye